Yeah, well, uh, it's been a great week down here. You know, the uh, you know I've been to a lot of bowl games. This is a it's been first class. They, they the treatment down here is by not only the Capital One Bowl people but the city of Orlando. Uh, it's it's been a great experience for everybody associated with our program. Um, I, I can't say enough about uh, the hospitality, how we've been treated, and, and uh, the time we've had during our time here in Orlando. And now we're looking forward to a heck of a football game tomorrow afternoon against a, uh, a team that we have a lot of respect for. We're a very well-coached football team, uh, a very talented football team, and uh, we know it's going to be a heck of a challenge. We're looking forward to a great game. All right, we'll open things up for the now. Once Find someone with a microphone before you ask your question. It's the easiest conference I've ever had. <laughs> well, you, uh, you, you talked about talent just a second ago from a physical profile, just you know, off the hoof, so to speak. And what, what impresses you about South Carolina's athletes, their players? Well, I think they have good team speed. Uh, I mean, obviously they, they've evaluated well, recruited well, and um, you know I, I think that they you know they have you know not only speed at the skill position, but I think they're very athletic on the lines, and and, uh, and on top of that they're they're very well coached. They play the game the right way. They uh, uh, they're fundamentally sound, their technique sound, and uh, to me that enables you to to play fast because of. You know, guys know what they're doing, and uh, you know, that, that to me, that says says a lot about their coaching staff and, and what they're trying to accomplish. And it's, it doesn't surprise me that they were, they were able to win uh, ten games in the SEC. They're they're a good football team, and, and uh, you know, it, it allows their athleticism to stand out. They they they're a very athletic team. Bo, you got a chance to see a spur your offense four years ago. Can you talk about the challenge of preparing for it and if that helps you at all? And then also, I realize you're in a different arena in the 90s, but just maybe from afar, if you kind of watched what he did in the past at Florida. Well, you know, I think he, you know, I've said this before, I believe that you know, inside of a good coach and good coaches or, you know, the ability to, to look at what you have and play to the strengths of your group. And I think when he was in, in uh, Florida, you know, he was probably, you know, lined up spread out, uh, you know, in, in empty a lot, that type of thing with, you know, with different style of quarterback, you know, somebody where that you know, was a little bit different day and age in football when you could throw the ball 50 times. And, I mean, they still ran the ball well, if I remember right, back in those days. But, um, you know, he had the Danny Werfels of the world and uh, guys like that who were more pocket style, throw the football, uh, you know, throw it around, throw it 40, 50 times in a game and, and light you up through the air. I mean, they still have the ability to do that in this offense. Obviously, Coach Spurrier knows how to throw the football. Um, but, you know, they uh, their quarterback runs the ball well. He, he uh, um, they, They've incorporated a lot of the zone read, that type of thing, into their offense. And, um, and then they mix it up a lot the way we do with the passing game. So, um, you know, it's, it's well thought out. It's a well thought out offense, and and, uh, and they coached well. I think the kids, are, you know, executing and have a good understanding of what they're trying to get done, and uh, that's a sign of a, of a good football team. You know, on top of that, one thing they you know, they they don't make a lot of mistakes. You know, they they're, they're pretty efficient in what they do. They they take care of the football and. Uh, um, you know, that's the thing that I always say in bowl games is you, you want to win the takeaway battle, the turnover battle, and, and uh, they've been good in that area. And uh, we're gonna, you know, that's gonna be something that uh, I've been preaching, we've been preaching that, that uh, we, we need to take care of the football on our side and, and try to take advantage of any mistakes they might make on, on their side because that, that that all usually goes a long way to to determine who's gonna win a football game like this. Well, as you know, the, the Big Ten is all about solidarity, and, and 
they play four bowl games tomorrow, and you're one of them. Do, do you feel any sort of, uh, I don't know, pressure's not the right word, but, but maybe a, a sense of, of uh, responsibility for helping the, the Big Ten look better this year in bowl games than it did last year? You know, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know how the Big Ten did bowl games last year, but um, the only thing, you know, I wish them all well. Everybody who's playing in those games from Wisconsin, Michigan State, uh, trying to think who else plays tomorrow, but uh, in Ohio State, I wish them all well, but I got enough on my plate to worry about, and uh, they're going to have to take care of their own business, and, you know, we have enough of a challenge, and we understand, uh, you know, all you can control is what you can control, and that's what we, that's on that field tomorrow against the heck of a football team. Well, can you talk a little bit about the challenges that uh, quarterback Connor Shaw presents with his running ability? Well, yeah, he, uh, you know, I, I see there's some guys, you know, he, he's a winner. You know, he, he's a guy who, uh, you know, wants the ball in his hands in tough situations. He, he makes a lot of plays for this football team. And, and you know, they, they do their things in the zone read and a little bit of option here and there. And, and quarterback draws, those types of things to get him the football. But just in, in just, uh, you know, just scrambles off of uh, plays he makes on his own. Um, you know, he, he's a good runner. He has really good instincts. Uh, finds running lanes really well. And I think understands situations and games well. Makes pretty good decisions. And uh, uh, which all, you know, lends to he's a, he's a big time threat. And somebody that, you know, you got to be aware of all day. And, um, you know, it's just, you know. I always say, you know, you got to do is look at the uh, arithmetic of it. You know, he, he adds a whole other gap to, that you got to cover, and that means not only in the in the running game, but in the passing game, you got to be aware of them. So it puts a lot of stress on you defensively. Hey, Bo, uh, Alshon Jeffrey, the wide receiver, uh, pretty big and physical guy. Um, just talk about him and maybe have you seen anybody like him in the Big Ten this year? You know, we played against a couple of bigger guys. Uh, you know, the Cunningham kid from, from Michigan State, but not from uh, Iowa. So we played against some pretty good wide receivers. I think Jeffries is, uh, is you know, as good, as good as any of them. I mean, he's a big, tall guy who... He's really athletic at the ball. Uh, does a great job of going up and playing the football. Um, you know, they, I think they use him well. They, uh, he's a big time threat. You know, you can have him covered, and he finds a way to go up and, and make some circus catches. And real, you know, there are some guys that are big and don't really do a good job of using their size to their advantage. I think he understands how to use his body, his size, and. Uh, yeah, he, he'll be a heck of a challenge for our guys. I mean, he's a, yeah, he's a pretty special player. Hey, Bo, uh, Coach, kind of off topic, how is this bowl experience compared to, like, other ones you've been a part of? You know, I've said it. I've been to a lot of different bowl games, and uh, from the BCS to uh, – and been to a lot of different places. I think this is as good as, if not better, than any of them. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, our from really everybody associated with the bowl game, it has been absolutely first class. I mean, from the accommodations. Uh, I see Tony over here, one of our team hosts, Michael Cantrell. Uh, our team, and they've just treated us so well, and uh, our kids and, our, and the players have had a great experience. To, staff, the coaches, really everybody associated with, with Nebraska. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more. In, in a, and obviously coming to a place like Orlando, it, it's been a tremendous experience for us. And, and uh, I've said it, I think it's ranks right up there at the top of, of any bowl game I've been to. And uh, it's been a great week. And, and uh, you know, there are a lot of times you, you have good time and you sit there and say, well, I wish they would have done this better or this, but that better. Um, I can't find anything that I can say that that, uh, that we weren't absolutely elated with. It's been a great week for us, and uh, I thank everybody associated with the Capital One Bowl because it's been a great experience for uh, for everybody.
What's it like having one of Nebraska's all-time greatest coaches be your athletic director? And what's your relationship with Dr. Osborne? You look at him as sort of a mentor to you as you as you as you as you're head coaching first? Yeah, it's been a great advantage for me. You know, I mean, Coach Osborne was, uh, you know, he, he, first of all, he gave me a great opportunity to come here and be the head coach. And, and uh, he didn't know me very well. I didn't know him very well. And, and he, he was my first opportunity to be a head coach. And, and uh, uh, you know, having him with his experience, somebody who's been there, done that, been in the profession and, and all the success he's had, um, you know, he, he does it in a great way. He's always there to, to lend the, uh, advice, but, you know, he doesn't force it down. He understands that i got to do it my way. And, uh, you know, I, I, I have a different background than he does. I've had different experiences, and, and I, gotta, I have to do it the way I, I believe, you know, and within the principles that I've been brought up. And, but uh, believe me, I've leaned on him a lot. It's, it's been a tremendous advantage for me, and, and, and uh, I feel blessed that, that he's my athletic director. And, and, and the way he, not only that he is the athletic director, but how he's handled the, the job and, and the way he's, his approach he's had with me. It's been a great uh, experience for me and one I've, I've learned a lot from him.